Woot. Level 52. What's up everyone out there in YouTube land? I'm Perry Lovewhistle, and as you can see, I am back on Zaner in Project 1999 Green. I'm also back in the Eastern Wastes for two reasons. One, I am overdue to get started on the Coldane Ring quests. I already have my Direwolf pelts, but I need to get some high-quality Tundra Kodiak pelts. But also... Uh, several videos ago, I had somebody request that I do a guide to fear kiting. So I'm going to kill two birds with one stone and do a how to fear kite video while I uh, kill some tundra kodiaks and probably some woolly rhinos in eastern wastes. Now, to fear kite, all you need is some form of snare. For me, that's ensnare, and some form of fear. For me, that's panic animal, and some method of doing damage. For me, that's melee DPS, and I actually think that melee DPS benefits the most from fear kiting. Yes, uh, enchanters can fear kite, I think wizards can fear kite, but you don't really gain much by fearing if you're going to be DPSing with spells anyway, in my opinion. But if you are doing melee DPS, obviously, the only mana you end up spending, largely, is to keep your snare and fear up. Because all you need is snare and fear and melee DPS, both rangers and shadow knights can actually fear kite at level 22. Rangers get their panic animal at level 22 uh, in Valios, and... They get their snare at level 9, and Shadow Knights get their snare at level 22 and their first fear at level 9. Shadow Knights can fear anything, and they have a more effective fear against undead, so they can fear kite in a lot more situations than Rangers can. But um, Valios actually opens up a lot of options for animal fear kiting in East Waste and also in Awakening Lands, and I think a little bit in West Waste too, but I don't spend a whole lot of time in West Waste. There is a Tundra Kodiak. He cons green, so this should be a nice, easy fight for me. Also, I did most of my just regular kiting in this area over here in East Waste, just north of the bridge. The only other thing you need for fear kiting is a lot of space for your mob to run through where you know that they're not going to get ads. That is what we've got in this area up here. We get the snare going, then I get the fear going. Then all we do is chase them down. The downside, the only downside to this is you've got to keep moving with them. And that is it. The Now granted, the Tundra Kodiaks are very green to me. So, of course, that fight went very well. Let me grab a Woolly Rhino. I think I saw a Woolly Rhino up here. Alright, here's a proper test of the power of fear kiting. This Woolly Rhino cons blue to me. The rhinos, by the way, 
are fast mobs, so they actually run at Spirit of Wolf speed. So if you don't have Spirit of Wolf, make sure to snare them first when you pull them. The rhinos also have a lot of HP, so be ready to recast your snare and fear a couple of times. Yep, see, he kept up with me the whole way back. But that's alright, because that means that I can... Not the time, snare. Now, if you wanted to be completely perfect with this, you can keep timers up to make sure that you're going to uh, recast your fear and snare in appropriate time. And if you did that, you could actually fight stuff probably that conned yellow to you. Since I didn't even get access to fear until stuff like that was not really viable to me. I didn't get a chance to, to really make use of fear kiting yellow and red mobs as a ranger in my 20s. There we go. See? A blue mob, and I managed to kill it with just one bubble of blue. Excuse me. One bubble of health. A little over half a bubble of mana. So barely any metting required to get right back into the fight. So I'll get, get right back to killing Tundra Kodiaks and any Woolly Rhino that wanders over into my area until I get two high-quality Kodiak pelts, and a rhino horn. That's basically it for fear kiting. As you can see, it's uh, probably the most efficient method of killing for both rangers and shadow knights when it's available. It costs almost no mana, and you don't ever get hit unless something goes terribly wrong. So uh, if you know of some great places to fear kite as a ranger please drop them in the comments below but in the meantime i'm just going to keep killing some kodiaks and rhinos and hopefully be able to start a video series on the coldane ring quest soon until next time bye